Rough bitches. That's so rude. Okay, so let's talk about some tips of how I know <laughs> is that I go on a lot of dates. I have been through a lot of dates, and I still go on a date with a lot of creepy people and uh, questionable creatures, and that's fine. I love you guys all, but the thing here is that singleness is an addiction, which is sad. I don't know, you know. Anyway, but today's video, as you guys saw, is how to get a guy in five days. Is that a title? No. How can you get a guy? No. Five days you can get a guy. That's the title. And if you still don't get a guy after these steps, uh, maybe there's a defect in you. Who knows? Maybe no. I don't know. I'm gonna give you guys some five tips which can totally impress and get a guy go out with you. So thank me later, bitches. So the wing woman is out here. Okay, so let me tell you guys that I am in a position in my life where I think I am not. You know, I want a guy in my life. I want that. My life. Or, you know, I want somebody who can you know get me pregnant, or at least you know give me a pregnancy scare, or at least you know like you know you know. I don't know, you know, whenever a guy approaches me, I'm all like, you know what, um, I hope my mom is not seeing this, but that's gonna be a more scary thing. But any which way, I said it, and you know, I'm 19, I should be playing in the field, dating a lot of guys and stuff, but uh, I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm there, I'm halfway there, I'm in the field, I'm waiting, I'm standing, just the guys have not arrived yet. Mm, get a guy. Uh, but let me just, you know, put it out there, I'm in a relationship. Um, uh, and I'm gonna tell you by the end of this video what with whom I'm in a relationship with and I hope you guys would support me on that relationship a lot and cross. Okay, this is the first time I think even my friends and my family are gonna know that I'm in a relationship. So uh, pretty much if you wanna know with whom I'm in this relationship with, please keep on watching this video. So definitely number one thing which you need to have in your head before even approaching a guy is that you need to know that the guy is interested in you that's a really important stuff you know because approaching a guy who's not interested in you is equal to saying the earth is fucking flat uh, it's always happened like that so you people would you know ladies think and girls think that they're the most stubborn people on the earth but let me tell you guys that's a t that no boys are fucking the most stubborn people on this earth changing their head changing their mind changing their thoughts is impossible second don't give away a lot of don't give away your fucking garden on the first day don't you know go up and you know blur out all of your fucking deep dark secrets because that's not what you want right you don't want to scare him away i know you guys are scary bitches and everything i know everybody have their own you know deep dark secrets whatever but don't give it away in the fucking first day because that's gonna totally be insane and might scare that person away you know if you're sitting sipping coffee and you're like you know what i can't be mad yeah that's that's gonna freak him out and um, maybe make you block him maybe he will block you so uh let's not do that in the first date third is that uh let me give you a story you know about me so the story which I'm gonna give you it's a story time about my personal life and one day I went on you know I think a few months ago in last year that is that I went on a date with a guy it was a pub or a club kind of thing and I went on a date and I was sitting like I don't like you know sitting really close to a guy when I meet him for the first time you know so I was sitting in a good distance with him and it was getting a chill it was going chill I was having my own milkshake he was having his own I don't know whatever he was drinking and it was going all chill, 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 chill. wow what a fucking chill. good day and everything and uh, we were having a really nice conversation and all of a sudden that creep said that that you know so, why are you so far away from me I think you should scoot here come near me now that shit scared the fuck out of me and after that point all I could think about was when I'm gonna fucking go back home because I'm gonna go back home because I think being comfortable with each other is so important that you don't even know how important it is. But 
that's the tea. You have to be comfortable with your partner. You have to be comfortable. You have to make each other comfortable. You cannot just get comfortable. You have to make each other comfortable. That's uh, you know, if you are not comfortable with the person, you should know that that's not your man. Okay. Uh, coming back to number three, which is three. Number four, which is so important, is that be real. Be the real you. You know, make them meet your friends. That you know, you, they will know your wife. They will know what kind of person you hang out with. What kind of wives you have. You know, they would know the real you. Cause that's so fucking important. Cause as the, as more you hide the real you, as more you know, fake the relationship will get. You know, fart in front of each other. You know, burp in front of each other. You know, like discuss about the poop sizes you get from each other. You know, pick your nose in front of each other. Cause I think we all do that. And there is nothing to hide and you know shy away from it. I think I, I, I don't know if it's that gross for some people out there, but we all pick our nose, we all fart, we all burp, we all see our poop sizes. So let's not, you know, hide the fact that we don't because we are oh, we're so rich, we don't do shit like that. As in front of that in, in, in front of that person, maybe that will make him like you, you know? Maybe. Uh where was I? Yeah, number five, very important thing, very important thing, which also I think is so important for me is that you have to be ready for a relationship. I know that I'm not emotionally and, you know, mentally ready for a relationship. Maybe physically, maybe. Uh, because of that, I'm not gonna do, you know, I'm not gonna fuck up somebody else's life because of my shit. That is gonna totally ruin the other person's life. If you're not ready for a relationship and you're still coming into a relationship just because of a peer from peer pressure or something like that, because you know that's that's not the you know that's not right. I think you should only come in a relationship when you are officially ready to commit. You know, wait for the right moment, wait, wait for it. You know, you will get to know that this is the time, this is the person you want to commit to, and you will get to it. Trust me, it would happen. I'm waiting for myself too, but I don't know when it's gonna happen. <laughs> anyway, I think it's gonna happen for me too one day, maybe. I don't know. Um, if, even if it doesn't, I don't care. I don't care. Any and like this, these are the five tips which are gonna give you a really good, real relationship which will be healthy for you. So I think he's my favorite kind of boyfriend because I don't have to text him back. I don't have to, you know, message him back. He just understands me, so makes him my favorite so coming back to the tea which i'm gonna give you guys about my relationship is that i'm in a relationship and it has been a few months that i'm in a relationship and um oh god i don't know if i should say this i'm in a relationship with you guys yes i'm super super committed and in a relationship with you guys with this camera because this fucking camera doesn't talk back at me i've also given a nickname to my fucking camera it's so cute it's so expensive and all bougie and i've given him a name his name is babe i think i'm, I'm in a really healthy relationship because i think i'm pretty committed i love my camera so much i know he loves me back too because he makes me look so fucking pretty and he makes me feel so pretty about myself and that's the kind of relationship i'm fond of and i think that's the kind of relationship all of you guys should be fond of. Still pretty much single. I know. I'm just at this point. It's like it's, I'm just my relationship status is literally like first or something. Any which way. I just want to say, please turn the black thumb blue. It's not that I don't like the black thumb. It's really pretty, but please turn it blue. It looks better when it's blue. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Please do. You know, I have uh, started a new series called Celebrity Transformation on my Instagram. Go and follow me on my Instagram. Which is at the rate maker of 55. It's my Instagram account. Please do follow me there and you can get a lot more information. A lot more information about me on my Instagram. And please do subscribe, support, share on YouTube. Definitely do that. See you guys soon. And it's so hard to fucking edit every fucking video, but I'm still doing it for you guys. I love you guys so much. See you soon. Bye. Is it over? Yeah.